Hello viewers, it's time for the configurator and today I have selected building a Dodge Durango. Uh, if you haven't seen one of the new Durangos on the road, I think you should give it a second look because the, I don't think I've seen that many of them yet. I've driven them and they're really interesting to drive and I think they really stand out in the crowd. So today we're gonna build one. And of course, being a car person, I of course want to start with the RT because the RT gets you the Hemi. So we're gonna go all wheel drive since we're here in lovely New England. And let's see what we've got. We've got a bunch of really neat colors. Obviously the black is very sinister, but let's see what else we have. Night Moves exterior paint, we like that. Octane red, let's see, let's see. Obviously I've built a few of these myself in the past, but today we're gonna go for Vapor Gray, which I think is really neat. It's uh, similar to like the Destroyer Gray you get in some of the Dodge vehicles. So let's go down here. We're gonna go 20 inch aluminum wheels. Ah yes, and we see the Hemi designation here on the side. We've got some Brembo brakes. Putting those wheels on gives us the tow and go package, which obviously we have an SUV. We would definitely want that for towing jet skis or anything you want. It's a very purposeful interior here in the Durango. I really like the setup of the steering wheel. It's very aggressive. It's very Dodge. Uh, and I feel like you don't get that on a lot of vehicles these days, so I really enjoy that. So we're gonna go for the SRT performance seats because we've got the Hemi, we've got the RT, we might as well do the performance seats. I like the aggressive steering wheel. We have our eight speed automatic transmission. We're gonna go down here to packages. We have the tow and go package, which gives us a 145 mile per hour maximum speed calibration. Of course, we won't be doing that on anything other than a track. Uh, then we have the Pirelli performance tires. We have body color rear fascia and we have an electronic limited slip differential, a high performance exhaust, high performance suspension, all the goodies. And very importantly, uh, if you have hit the brakes hard from high speed more than once, this one has Brembo brakes. As it is a big vehicle, big brakes are a big bonus. And we look over at the black top package. It gives us black roof rails, satin black Dodge tail lamp. All right, let's click that guy. We're gonna add that in there as I like those things. So we already have, I wouldn't be towing anything that serious, so I wouldn't need this. Maybe you guys would, but I wouldn't. I only tow little light things. Go to the powertrain, and of course, it's the 5.7 liter Hemi, which we all know I'm a big fan of because it makes a great noise and it's, reliable, and of course, you want to tell your friends. What do you have in it? Oh, is it the V6? No, I have the Hemi. Oh, okay. The Hemi, the V8? Oh yeah, the Hemi. Yep, you got the eight-speed automatic transmission. Can you tell I like V8s? So we're gonna go down here to our finished product. We've got gray with our black wheels, Brembo. We're all blacked out. We've got this cool Viper-esque hood scoop up here, honeycomb grill. We've got the Hemi badge on the side to let everybody know what you're packing. Come out to about $65,165. Now if you need a fun family hauler that makes the Hemi noise and it's just different from your ho-hum everyday SUV, I think the Durango is a really interesting and cool choice and it would be a choice of mine. Um, obviously I'd go for the Hemi, you gotta go for the Hemi. If you think the Durango is as neat and cool as I do and you definitely want to get one, you're gonna to need to go down to Elmwood CDJR in East Providence and check one out. Take one for a test drive, build a few things online. Yours might look a little different than mine, but if I were to get one, it'd be just like this. So check one out. 